Well, hello, friends from YouTube. This is another video from Dark Spectre 100. This time it's going to be an introduction to reloading. Uh, there are many reasons why people start reloading uh, their cartridges. The main one is going to be because of the money saving. I reload specifically 308 and 223. 308 when you reload and you only uh, size the next, you're going to be able to reload your cartridges up to uh, 10 times depending on the the powder that you're going to be using and the kind of cartridges and how you run it. I'm talking about mostly a bolt action rifle, that's what I owned. Uh, 223, uh, people are capable of reloading it up to 12 times because it's a small cartridge and it's barely any powder. So when you also compare uh, that, you're going to versus match ammunition, you will be saving pretty much uh, up to half of the cost of paying for match ammunition plus the uh, cost of shipping and handling the hazmat cost that you're going to be adding to the total cost of placing your order. The second reason why people start reloading is going to be because of the increased accuracy. Uh, that's why you can tell the majority of the bench rest uh, shooters. I haven't seen anyone who doesn't do it. All the PRS champions, all the Olympic champions, or, or, and the majority of the, your local a match champions they all gonna be reloading their ammunition the snipers when they're going uh, on undercover operations black ops they are trying to handle their own ammunition depending on the country that they're gonna be uh, introduced to uh, when you compare the quality of the factory ammunition it's gonna be mass produced they're supposed to be on their same specification they are not gonna be playing with your bullet sitting in the throw of your barrel, they're not going to be specifically uh, according to the length of your barrel, to the rifling in your barrel, to the twist rate in your barrel. That's why uh, the accuracy always will increase when you held note for your specific uh, calibers. Another reason is going to be the hobby, the entertainment you get from it and the pride you get out of it. When people, a lot of people, when it's a uh, winter season, they really, they can spend hours and hours uh, hand loading the ammunition and they really get a kick out of it the pride you get out of it uh, when you are able to uh, hand load a different bullet that you know it's gonna have a better terminal ballistic and you're gonna be taking a wild hog or a big antelope or a mule deer that you, you're gonna need a better uh, stocking power versus the regular over-the-counter hunting ammunition uh, you will have more variety of bullets. You can have the volume bullets, you're gonna have the expensive bullets. And you can also, uh, if you're planning on using, uh, using them for a match, you can get the higher ballistic coefficient bullets that are going to be majority the bow tail, that they're gonna be able to buck the wing and have a flatter trajectory. And it's gonna give you better uh, results, generally speaking. Another reason is gonna be for, you're gonna be able to reload for not available, not so available cartridges. Some people are still using the Mossy Nagans, uh, the 762 by 54. Some people are still uh, using because they were passed uh, through then uh, their uh, Lee Enfield sniper rifles or the Argentine uh, sniper rifles. And most of those ammunition are not readily available. So, or even those you can get, they're not really match grade or sniper grade. So you are able to reload for them and you can tell how it will improve a lot after a uh, hand loading, specifically for your barrel twist, for your barrel length and the inside uh, rifling. So among all the benefits I just mentioned before, there is also an outcome. Reloading is something that it's uh, mostly for people who are mature, for people who are clean, for people who are uh, responsible. Uh, you shouldn't be reloading if you are been drinking before. You shouldn't be uh, reloading if you have a distraction, kids playing around, uh, music that it really gets you pumped up and you're not really paying attention. If your environment where you reload, your reloading uh, station is not really clean. Uh, we all develop statics. If you have a lot of powder spread all over your table, it's going to be dangerous for you. Uh, it seems uh, silly that I shouldn't mention, please do not smoke while reloading your ammunition or do not drink while uh, reloading your ammunition. You will be exposing yourself to a double charge or a huge accident. Otherwise, you're gonna end up uh, blowing your firearm or damaging, permanently damaging your firearm. You're gonna end up injuring yourself or even death. Just remember, 
when you put uh, your face next to the chamber, that chamber generally has 40, 45 uh, or up to 50,000 PSI suppressor. Uh, when you press your tires in your car and the air comes out uh, blowing, that's only 40 to 45 uh, PSI versus 40 to 50,000 PSI uh, pressure in your chamber. So make sure you are responsible while you are reloading your ammunition. Uh, you may also injure your bystanders uh, because you were not responsible for. Because of that, uh, some of the ranges, the uh, range officer, they will ask you if the ammunition you are using is just a factory ammunition, if, it, or if it's a hand loaded. If you say if it, it is a hand loaded ammunition, most likely they will send you to the, uh, to the sides and they will also try to use some sort of barrier and they will ask you, you will only be able to shoot on a prone position. So that in case of an accidental discharge or anything, uh, you will hurt the people around. As a consequence of any uh, injury or harm that you may cause, you will be ready to face uh, legal charges. So get ready for those. And um, finally, uh, the health problems when you're handling powder. I mean, handling powder in an incorrect manner. Some people do the hand loading in a really enclosed area without AC, without any kind of ventilation. A uh, powder has high concentrate of nitroglycerin, which if you're taking medication for your blood pressure, it's gonna cause an abrupt drop in your blood pressure. Uh, so be careful with it. Uh, the majority of the components for reloading, they're gonna have a lead uh, component to it. So lead is well known for causing uh, birth defect and cancer. So do not eat any food or drink anything while you will be reloading. It's gonna take a toll on you. Uh, in order to avoid any disaster mentioned before, in front of me I have uh, my four favorite uh, reloading manual. They're just my opinion. There are more of them. Uh, these are not the latest and greatest, but you know, it's just my preference when I compare them to others. Uh, if you are at an entry level, I would highly recommend you, recommend you to go for the Lyman reloading manual. The images are very self-explicit. They are very simple. Uh, this is my, one of my favorite uh, ones. The Hornady, uh, it makes a breakdown on the powder comparison in case you won't be able to get your, your favorite ones. Uh, the Sierra is well known for half the majority of the bullets. Uh, the majority of the military uh, bullets, they are uh, Sierra bullets. So that's where you're gonna go for you and try. If you are trying to clone uh, military rounds and the Spear bullets are well known for being used for police. However, they never disclose the amount of powder cartridges because of the legal aspect. This one, the one they hit, they are the one that they will expand less and they're gonna have an excellent terminal ballistic open uh, tissues. Uh, they all, they're gonna have their partnership. Some of them will advertise certain bullets. Some of them will advertise or not uh, certain powders and cartridges in order to survive competition among them. So. To me, it's like doing martial arts when you have a friend who does boxing and then you go play tough with a guy who does uh, wrestling and then he realizes his boxing is not gonna work with his wrestling guy. And then you got a guy who does a taekwondo and then he's gonna play with the guy who, got, who does a boxing. Then they realize they're kind of, they have a weak uh, spot. I would say when you do the four things, like when you train Jiu Jitsu, so that you're gonna have like a whole uh, idea of uh, different options that you will have depending on your powders, on your cartridges, on your uh, primers. So it's it boils down to the, your final decision and your responsible and safe decision. All right, friends, this is all I got to present to you today. I hope you like it. Uh, give it a like, subscribe to my channel for the whole tutorial sequence that is coming after this. Uh, share it among your friends. Uh, thank you so much for your time and God bless you all.